Okay everyone, this is Joseph J. McAllister and this video is about why you need a screen porch for your cats and how that's going to help you out. Basically what the screen porch looks like and uh, I made a few videos on uh, the benefits of having a screen porch and another one about how to build the screen porch that you can check out as well. But um, let me show you the outside real quick. So there's basically what the outside looks like and we got our Christmas lights going up there and it's really nice you know it works out really well. Now anyways before we had our screen porch um, uh, you know we'd let our cats out we felt bad for them that they couldn't go outside you know and it felt like the house is like a prison for them or something and uh, we wanted them to be able to get out and breathe the fresh air you know we felt bad for them. So, I would let them out into the yard and the problem is eventually I would come out here and look for them and I couldn't find them and it's because they had figured out how to jump over these fences and they would run off uh, sometimes like actually sometimes they'd get stuck in these trees and I'd have to come out with a ladder and try to get them out of the tree and then sometimes they would be up over that wall up there and uh there's a church up there and then this huge hillside and then these uh, open drainage pipes that they would go into and they go way back into the mountain in these draining drainage pipes which you know i thought well if they fall through somewhere and they get stuck in there and you know they'd be a horrible death you know of course they go out this direction and then they're out in the street you know, the problem is eventually, to be honest, is they, um, you know, several of them ended up out in the streets and, uh, well, two of them, I think they eventually got hit by a car, you know, so and that happens all the time with cats. So, of course, you want your cats to go out and get some fresh air and have a good life and all this and, you know, the, the um, nature is so important to animals and everything, but um you don't want them to get run over you know or, or just get lost or or you know one of them ran away for like a week because he got uh, up over the hill and when he came back he was uh we, we didn't think we'd ever see him again but he came back and he was just shaking and he was skin and bones and it had been raining constantly while he was gone and uh, i tried to catch him but he was up in those tubes up there the drainage ditch tubes and doing who knows what you know sometimes they come back and sometimes you never see them again so uh, the screen porch we've had it for five years now and it's been just great for our cats and that was like the main motivator for me to to screen in the porch honestly I did it as fast as I could it cost me like 200 bucks and a week of my time and it's worked out really great Okay, so one of the big reasons why I had to get a screen porch going on out here and like really fast is because uh, we adopted these two orange cats and these orange cats um, are really young. As you can see, they, they just are extremely playful. Um, there's the other one over there. And the problem is, is that every time a cat goes to a cat box, and start scratching in the cat box. They come running over and they attack the cats. And it was a huge problem. And part of it has to do with, um, they say that cats aren't good about sharing resources. And so they, they say, last time I was at the vet, they were saying, oh, you should have a, a cat box for every single cat. And I'm like, we have five cats. You want me to have five cat boxes? So I was like, that's crazy, right? So anyways, when we first started having these problems uh, with the cats doing this, uh, we did have five cat boxes and um, that didn't do anything. They, they didn't care. Uh, they wanted to go after any cat that went to a cat box. And um, one of my cats, that one right there, uh, see right there, she stays up on the counter all the time because she's constantly terrified that she's going to be attacked by these uh, orange cats and so 
to make sure that she goes to the bathroom because when she goes off into the bathroom, uh, she gets cornered in there. And then, uh, you know, in the cat box and in the bathroom, she gets cornered in there. And if she tries to come out, they're going to chase her and try and claw her and jump on her back and stuff as she's running for this table. So to this day, I still have to take this cat two or three times and bring her into the bathroom and make sure that she's going to the bathroom. Now we had this other cat that was... Um, a black cat that was uh, pretty overweight and we had him for a long time and eventually he uh, died and when when he died he before he died he smelled like urine and um, I know that like he would go over to the cat box and when he went to the bathroom uh, he he would like it would be like a whole cup of water would be dumped in there just because he would wait as long as he possibly could take it before he would go to the bathroom. I think it had to do with these, these orange cats and I think eventually his bladder had ruptured and it went into his system and uh, you know one second he, he had been throwing up a little bit in the morning which is so normal for cats and he smelled a little bit like urine and I was a little worried about him and then um, next thing I knew I, I came around the corner like an hour later and he was stiff as a board and I think that's what happened to him is probably his bladder finally ruptured just day in and day out we'd see him using the bathroom so we thought well he's using it but we knew he was a little timid about it and then um you know I think it eventually killed him so basically what I'm saying is it can be really dangerous for cats to be holding their urine all day and not going to the bathroom um, you know and maybe you don't realize it's going on you know but and these other cats if you see them attacking the cats every time they go to the restroom that's a huge problem you gotta figure out something real quick and deal with it now one thing that I did immediately because I thought maybe this would be a solution uh, they said that cats need some space and they they need places where they can get away from other cats and also not to be trapped so that they can run. Um, so I created this thing like really fast in the front room, like within a day. And um, it's, it's worked out really well for these red cats, but they've really dominated it. And um, the rest of the cats, if they go near this thing, the other cats will run up this thing and come at them like crazy and then the cats will just jump off the backside all the way to the ground because they're terrified sometimes going off backwards and so now the other cats really don't come near this thing it's worked a little bit because it's separated them it's given the red cat something to do but really the ultimate solution was to get these uh, orange cats outside on the porch as much as possible this cat has gotten to a point where um, she just stays up here all day long. And this one's getting to be a little more brave. But she just stays up here all day long because she is afraid of these orange cats. She doesn't want anything to do with them. Uh, luckily the orange cats are downstairs all day so she's able to use her resources or water or bathroom and stuff like that. But she don't even come downstairs anymore. And see, the second I let these orange cats in, you know, she's back up on the table, again, hiding. So basically, the beauty of having the screen porch really for, for the cats has to do with just getting uh, these super playful cats that want to attack the other cats out of the house and out onto the porch as much as possible. And they pretty much spend like all day out here. They just come out and they go in and out like crazy, but uh, they spend 90% of their day out here just enjoying the porch and uh, looking at, you know, sometimes they kill some lizards that get in here. And they like to uh, watch the birds in the yard that don't get in here, but um, kind of chase them around and jump on the screens and stuff like that. Um, and just, Kind of enjoy this place it's it's really been a good substitute for just letting them run wild 
out in the yard and get over the fence and in the street and stuff like that. And um, at least, you know, um, the cats are able to use the bathroom a lot better and get their food and water and everything. And one thing for sure is just that the cats aren't getting run over or running off for a week or two on end or just permanently running away. And who knows what happens to them, you know? So, so it's worked out really well and it's been a huge relief. And also, of course, uh, we use this screen porch all the time too or just sit out here with the cats and just enjoy the view and it's been really nice. So anyways, I'm Joseph J. McAllister, and like, share, and subscribe.